In our previous videos, we have talked about the tools of this Pixelab app. So now we are going to be using the app for graphics designing. We use it to design a logo today. We have also talked about how you can get PNG images and how you can get mock-up backgrounds because we'll be using those things in this particular video to design our logo. Now, let's get to work. If immediately you open your Pixelab app, this is how you are going to meet it with this new text. So, what we'll do now is we'll first import that particular logo we want to, to design. Then we'll now try to design it and try to make it look exactly like that logo. Now, let me click on this plus sign. You remember I said if you want to include anything in your design, you go there to pick. I'm going to gallery. I want to go and search for that, that particular um, design I want to do. So let me look for it in my phone. Looking for the logo. Are you okay? Not here. Not here. I'll go to images. Ah. Okay. 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 This is it. Now I want to do something like this. Now, this is the logo we want to design. You can see that it's so lovely. Now, I want to do something like this. Exactly something like this. Now, let's select it. Mark. Let's put it one side. So that it will not disturb us. Let us... We can decide to use this or we'll remove it. If you want to use it, you can leave it. For me, I'm going to delete it. I press delete. Confirmation. Okay. Okay, that's gone. Now, let's start by importing the first image, which is a PNG image. I have downloaded a PNG image. I'll go to gallery. Let's go to recent. I have this hanger. Because this logo is actually for uh, a laundry service that I, I actually designed this logo for them. You can see this logo is coming from PNG3 down here. So let us crop that part of the logo so that it won't show in our design. Yes, can you see that? So whenever I see such, that's how you crop it. Crop it off. Please don't cut the image. You. Just cut the unwanted part off. Then you click on the good. Check good. But before you do that, before you do that, make sure you have everything set so now click on good now this is our png image you can see that it does not have any background okay so let's move it aside let's move it let's move it one side here this thing is too big i can decide to reduce it using this this portion this big round node okay now uh, where should I put this thing? Away? Let me just put it here. I'm going to push it one side like this. Okay. A little bit bigger. Somebody saying it's okay. Okay. Let's leave it like that. Now, we want to make it look exactly like this. What we need now is a surface for it. Let's go back to shape, shapes, shapes, under shape, we'll go to texture, we'll go to texture and click on this place, we want to texture that, that uh, PNG image. Now, I've downloaded a texture, this golden texture, that's what I want to put. Now, I'll, I'll cut off this side with. Um, with the advert designed by so, so then I'll mark it 
Can you see that? That is the texture. It has textured uh, uh, our PNG image. Then our mark is good. I love the appearance of this. Now the next thing we'll do to this our PNG image is that, as you can see in this one, this one has this one has white line around it, as you can see. So that's what we want to do now. So let us go to stroke. You can see stroke here. To stroke it, enable. You enable the stroke, then you choose the color to be white. You can go down to see the width. That is how big is it going to look. Okay, let's just leave it at two. Okay. Oh, sorry. I did not select the PNG image. Let me go back to stroke. I actually stroked the other logo. Okay, that's my stroke. Can you see the stroke? Yes, stroke at two. Check good. Okay, that's our stroke. Now, with that done, we are good to go. So we are going to lock. We are going to lock this. How do you lock it? You click on this, this side, this in that. So we click on lock. So we lock it so that it doesn't move around. If it moves, it might disturb our work. So the next thing we want to do now is that S. That S. You can see that S in the middle of the anger. So that's what we want to do now. Now let's go to text. New text. We type in the S. Mm, we have our text here. Edit. Let's erase all these ones. Go, 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 go. It's a capital S. Okay. So we have our S here. You can see the S. So this S might be stubborn because of the size. So let us come to this place to increase we can actually come here to increase the text size now let's increase it uh -huh, so that we can move it as we like so we have increased the text size now the next thing is let's look for this particular font face that is i normally use the word handwriting or computer computer and writing so font face the font face the s font face let's go let's go to we can actually come here okay let's not use that side let's come to font face down let's click on a we click on this a we go to um uh font you can see it's a b this a b font so let's come to let's look for that font I can still remember that font now. Uh, I think it's uh, Arm Wrestler. Yes, Arm Wrestler. No, it's not. It's not Arm Wrestler. It should be. It doesn't have. It doesn't have feel. So, uh, Blackout Sunrise. I'm going to use Blackout Sunrise. Let me use Blackout Sunrise. You can see. You can see it here. Up here. Uh, okay. Yes, that's it. That's it, that's it. Now we are going to texture this too. So we'll go to texture, texture. Don't forget our golden texture is what we want to use. So cut this list off. Okay. Yes, we have textured it. Let me reduce this. We are going to place our textured um, S or font. We are going to place it inside. This thing is so it doesn't want to move. So let me just increase the size more. So I'll be able to move it. Then I'll now reduce it. Reduce it. So if it's difficult for you, you can come to position to actually use these keys to control it. Okay? Down. Down. Is it okay like this? Check good. Good, it's great. I think it's okay. So let's leave it there. Our hunger is done, our S is done.
the next thing we want to go to want to do now is the 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 uh, business name text we go to text edit we edit it let's edit it okay you can see this one is paste so let's see if we let's see increase it let's look let's go to um let's go to where we will space it this is spacing you can see it so you can see that line spacing is different from spacing from uh, text text spacing so let's just go to spacing so we can increase the spacing from here you can see that you can see that okay so space it across good see okay you can see the spacing now let us choose the font the font face i think that should be arm wrestler mm. the hair that is arm wrestler now let me make it it should, it should not touch the hanger it should just stay under it like this there should be gaps because if you notice this image you know that it, you see that it has um, shadow so if you don't have spaces between your the object on the page the shadow will not come out good so now we have our anger we have our earth and we have the business name we want to change we want to texture that business name now we are still on a because we are working on the text we we'll now go to texture texture we choose that we we'll look for our texture image texture oh, don't forget to cut the advert side off now we have it textured can you see that yes it's textured that is done now we want to do something let us lock our s and the business name we, if you don't want if you don't want to select it from this page you can actually go here to select what you want to lock you got the s here you lock it the business name you log it so we have locked the contents of the page go back here to remove it okay we have locked the contents now so the next thing is laundry services let us add the text text we edit the text bring it out here edit edit is capital letters is all caps laundry services okay now we have laundry services that this one has no stress just laundry services so laundry services now the next thing we want to add now is the steam Abby. we have a uh, steam ironing steam ironing dry cleaning carpet cleaning home cleaning express services same day delivery Somebody should keep this for me so that when I ask you, give me the answer. Steam ironing, dry cleaning, carpet cleaning, home cleaning, and express services. Okay, let's add. Let's add this. Okay, text. Yeah, let's edit it. Ironing, 
carpet carpet cleaning okay what else home cleaning express services same day delivery home cleaning express services same same day delivery Okay, now let us reduce the size. Let's reduce the size, text size. Okay, and make it this wide so that it will look exactly as we want it. Good. Now, let us, this one is centralized. So centralized, let's centralize it. So we'll go, we'll look for alignment. We look for if you hear anything centralized, you look for alignment and you look at align, align. Now choose center. This one at the middle is the center alignment. You mark it good. Okay, that with that done, let us move this one aside so that we'll see what we are doing clearly. Okay, the steam iron is how does it look here? I'm going to reduce it a bit. No, 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 no. Wow. Let's reduce it. Let's come to text size. You can see I'm using text size from up and also using it from the downside. So let's see. Okay, I think we are good to go like this. Okay. Okay. So that's that. Now the next thing we will do now is to give it a color, I want to give that uh, steam ironing, like cleaning, so 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 so. I want to give it a color. Here, we are going to also learn a new thing. So let's see how we are going to get the color that will match our exact logo. That is the main color we are using in the exam. Uh, um, in this our logo, which is uh, the gold color. So let's go to, we select the text. Then we'll come to color. So, although I have the color here, but I can, you first click on color here. If you use gradient, gradient is for more than one color. It will mix two colors. So click on color. So let's go to add. Now, let's say you want to mimic a color. You want, they gave you a specific color and you don't want to be looking for that color. You just want to bring it out. Maybe the person sent you an image that, please, oh, look at this color on this image. Use it for my job. Now, the image is on your phone. Just click on this dropper to up here. Mm -hmm. Look for that dropper. Make sure you have import the image inside your inside this project first. If you import it, it will show up here. You import the image first, it will show up here. Now we have the image we are trying to uh, uh, design. So I'll just go to the image. That's the image there. Then I'll 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 match I'll match this color. You can see up here that the color is showing inside that round box. If immediately I get the Look at now, I've gotten the brightest of the color. Then I'll just mark it. Maybe I get the brightest of the color, I'll mark it good. I've gotten the color now. So if you if you want to be a little bit brighter, you can adjust. But if you want the same thing, you can just leave it. Hmm? You can see that, then you click on OK. You see my color? So I'm going to change it to exactly how it is. Let me go back here and um, choose the brightest. So OK. 
I was not getting it before. Okay. Good, that's it. Mark good. Okay. So that is the color now. We have the color. So the next thing I'm going I'm going to do now is to add our the phone number, the contact. The contact. Sex. So let's just put let's just put this phone number here. From I'm sorry. Let's just edit it. I want to edit it. We'll edit it and just put this phone number there. So okay. Okay. So let's let's pick this. Let's put this number here. Okay. We are going to reduce. Let us reduce the. Let us reduce the. The size. Let's reduce the size. Let's reduce it a bit. Okay, I think it's okay like this. Uh, I have not locked some of the contents of our page. I have not locked our laundry service. Let's lock our laundry service, our steam ironing. All those things we are through it, we lock them up so that they don't move. Mm -hmm. So we have locked them. So we remain the ones we are working on now. Our phone number. Just please make sure that the phone number is. In, uh, at least so obvious enough so that people will be able to call that person. You can see how the phone numbers look like on this one. So make sure it's obvious enough. Okay. Now, I'm going to add the call button and the WhatsApp button. That's what I want to add. Now go to gallery. So I have the call button. Now you can see that in our in the other logo that we are trying to design the call button is in a round shape so here we can also put our own in a round, in a round shape although it came as a square so let us create this round shape then you can use it to just get your call button round shape then okay so we have our call button That is that. That is that. Wow, we started. You can use undo. Hmm? Don't forget undo. So then reduce it to size. Now that's our call button. Let us now insert the WhatsApp button. WhatsApp button. Don't forget it's also in round shape. I think this is okay like this. Huh? Just reduce it a bit. So mark good. Reduce it. The call button is actually at the front. So I'll be using this shape here to move it around position. Let me increase the speed. Increase the speed of movement position. Okay. So I don't want to use my hand to reduce the size of the of the image. I can as well go to size, relative size. So increase or reduce. Hmm? to receive size. Let's leave it at at six. Check good and let's go to position. You now position it. I have to use six points so that get it that position. Good. We have that. This our call button. Let us turn it so that you see how to rotate. Let's go to um, rotate. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, we have rotate here. Now let's rotate it. Eh, lovely, lovely. 
can rotate it we can have it rotated now we want to reduce the size this is interesting are you enjoying the class i know you are so let's complete this logo um want to reduce the size relative size Leave it at eight. Good. Let's see. Okay. I want to select. I don't want to use my hand to select it because it might distort the size. So let me just select it from here. Okay, select it like this. And, um, so I want to move it to its original position. Let's come down. Down. Up a bit. Are we good? Are they of the same size? No, let's reduce or uh, okay, let's reduce the call button size. The call button, I want to reduce the size, relative size. Let's leave it at six. Okay, let's see, I did the same now. I think it's smaller. Now we'll put it at seven. Call button. Call button. Relative size. Relative size. Sorry. Relative size. Relative size. Leave it at seven. You can use this plus sign as well. Okay. It's now at seven. Now at seven. Let's move it closer. Relative position. Relative position. I want to move it closer. I want to move it closer now. Okay. Let's move it here, here, here. Relative position. Okay. Let me click out. I want to select it. Select that and um, see. going to place it. Okay, sorry, position. Supposed to use position, not relative position. Come down. Come down. Are we good? Yes. I think we are good to go like this. Now the next thing we do is we lock the content. We lock them up. Let's lock them inside. We just lock them. So we lock everything now. We are almost good to go. Now, what is next? You can tell me. You can tell me what is next. The next thing is our background. Bam. We need our background now. So let's see how we are going to place the background. So I'm going to place the background. So now, like I told you, if you want to work on background, you use this other button here. So background, go to image because we want to work on background image. Sorry, this is image, but we are not using image. If you click on this image, it's going to give you images from Pixel Lab app. So we don't want images from Pixel Lab app now. We are going to images from gallery. Let's let's choose from gallery. This is my mock-up here. Up here. Choose the mock-up. It's good. Let let's choose this. Let me choose this side. This side. Let me choose that side. And uh, uh, let me choose one to one. Okay. Because we, if you want to use your logo, maybe on. Facebook, WhatsApp, all these social media handles. If you want to, if you want to use your logo on those social media, you need to choose this ratio one to one, so that it will it will size well on screens. Okay, so let's leave it this way and mark it good. You can see that is our background. We are getting there. Is that also? We are getting there. So. The next thing let let me let me see if we can if we can um, actually uh, check this uh, background 
let me come to shape okay I think I think this background is I think it's okay like that yes this background is good it's good so that is a mock-up image that we have just used as our background now the next thing we want to do now is we we are going to um, group the content together we are going to group the content together the content of the page so we we'll come to this place if you look down here you see these buttons this cross and mark buttons and check button just click it after clicking you'll be able to select so that button is actually for selection. If you want to select the content of the page, please don't select this other one because that's what is not part of the logo that we are working on. It's not part of that is this last one I'm talking about. Okay, let's go on. Let's go on. We're almost there. After selecting, you check it's good. Sorry, we have not grouped it. We are going to select it again. Select it again. After selecting, you group it using this button. So now say, are you sure you, sure you want to match the selected objects? You say OK. Don't forget, if you count those those buttons below from one, two, three, I use the third button. OK. It will now group our uh, image. Our image is grouped. Now, the next thing is our shadow. Wow, that is where you want to see the beauty of this logo. Now, we have it as a as one shape. Click on shape. Now look for. Now look for shadow. Let's look for shadow. Shadow. This is shadow. Just enable it. Now you see that. We have enabled our shadow. We have enabled our shadow. So let's just click OK. If we want to edit it, we'll still come back to it. So after enabling the shadow, the next thing we we'll do is we do 3D rotate. Click on 3D rotate so that it will look as if it is on the wall. That is why it is called mock up. To look as if it is on the wall. So let's let's see. Let me reduce the size a bit. Now let's see three D rotate. On the X axis, let's go this. Okay, no 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 no. We don't want that. We want it on the Y axis. We want our rotation on the Y axis. We will still come to X axis, but let's start with the Y axis. That is this way okay that's our rotation that's our rotation then we now turn it up a bit from the x axis mm -hmm. think we are good to go let's mark it good let's see can you see that now our shadow if you look at this shadow now it's darker by the left side it's darker so it means that we are going to move our shadow towards that side so let's go and edit the shadow now let's go to edit the shadow shadow you can see other options you can see other options so let us set the the shadow offset you can choose sh shadow color from here as well but we are already on black and it is black we really need so let us choose. can you see the shadow as it is moving mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the shadow actually makes it look real so you don't joke with it you can see now that our logo is taking a different look when we adjust the shadow. So that is all we need to do. 
Just mark it good. Let's delete this one. I'm going to delete this. Okay. Now look at our final work. This is our final work. Don't I deserve a clap class? So that's our work. You can make it bigger or smaller. It looks really nice. Looks really nice. So this is a mock up logo. So it's really nice. Now that is the end product of our work. You need to you can save your work. You can save it as you can save it as project or as image. So I've clicked on share, not save. So let me click on save. Share is for if you want to sh share it. Like I've told you in our previous videos, if you want to share it or you want to save it to gallery as an image, you can do that from here. Now let me save as image or save as project. Mm, let me save as project first. The project name is the laundry. Okay. Now let me now share it. Share as the format is JPG, no transparency. PNG has transparency. But this image, there, for this image or this project, there is no need for transparency because it's a mock-up project. So we just leave it at JPG. Every other thing remains the same. So we just save to gallery. You know, after saving to gallery, you can share it in any number of times you want to share. So that is the end of this class. I hope you enjoy this class and you are really enjoying the PF Innovation Human Empowerment Program. Now, I want you to uh, share the group link so that others will also benefit from this class, okay? And I also want you to be serious and do any project that I give you to do, okay? So, we'll see in the next video